I'm about to show you a near eight million pound home right next to Hampstead Heath. Hello, I'm Grant James Bates. Welcome to London Property Tours, my latest episode. I feel like I should just end it here. This is an incredible front door, isn't it? Well, we're on a detached plot, no through road, and we're in Hampstead, right next to the Heath, right next to Golders Hill Park. We've got the High Street and the Tube, 10, 15 minute walk as well. And yeah, this is impressive. I'm gonna walk you through now. Can you guess the name of the house? Stop guessing. It's called the Glass House and it's easy to see why. The architecture is courtesy of Glen House and the vision was to create a space that's flooded with natural light, had a contemporary feel and almost art gallery-esque, which they've certainly done with the amount of wall space. Loads of space to hang your art. The glass is floor to ceiling. These are all sliding glass doors and there's quadruple aspects. So that with the skylights, the natural light is incredible. The garden here wraps all the way around. So green views from every single angle. We've got three bedrooms. There's nearly 5,000 square feet. The principal suite, which I'll talk about properly later, occupies the entire first floor. We've got off-street parking. We've got a garage. There's multiple entertaining space down here. But I'll walk you through the ground floor first. Everything you see underneath my feet is limestone. We've also got this beautiful limestone floating staircase. They've used limestone in the bathrooms as well, so lots of limestone. Underfloor heating, as you would expect throughout the whole house, as well as air conditioning throughout the whole, uh, the whole house, sorry. Space flows really well down here, so that it's open plan, but you've also got designated areas. So seating area here, which naturally goes straight out onto this incredible garden. The more I look at it, the more I love that space, especially the, the fact that it wraps all the way around. Study is here. guest bedrooms, guest suites, both on suite bathrooms. There's a utility, uh, there's a WC on this floor as well. Round here we have the dining space and then the kitchen over here. So the kitchen definitely gives that contemporary feel. It's by Boltop. All the appliances are Gaganau, Sub-Zero, and Mila. That's right, Mila, not Mila. Someone commented on one of my videos telling me that it was pronounced Mila. Didn't believe them, checked it, and it is. So Mila appliances. All of the tops are stone. We've got another snug space behind where Derek is filming there with yet another skylight flooding uh, that room with light again, that would make a really good cinema room. And the space is actually quite interchangeable because the study that I referenced earlier that you hopefully saw from the floor plan, that was another really useful suggestion actually by one of my subscribers, so thanks for that. The study uh, could easily be adapted to be a gym or whatever you might need. Um, let's head upstairs and look at the principal. So this is the first floor and it is all principal suite, all main bedroom. Now I know with some of the townhouses I've shown you that that's relatively standard, but with a new build house of this sort of size and with this amount of space on the first floor, 
quite frankly insane. It's brilliantly indulgent. We've also got these picture windows which are nearly floor to ceiling and that frames all of the green views. Obviously we're in the main bedroom now. Through here, we've got the walk-in wardrobe. And then, just back here, we've got the bathroom. So again, use of limestone with the floor and this beautiful polished plaster, which I really love. Another skylight, there's skylights I think in basically every room. Nice big stone tub, double sinks, rainfall shower, discreet loo. All of the bathrooms are courtesy of Antonio Lupe or Durovit. And then just to complete the insanity of this principal suite, we've got the roof terrace. Another skylight down into the main living space. And again, focused on the green views over the garden, we've got a living roof here. The garage is just back the other way and there is lapse planning permission to extend over that garage, which did make me wonder if potentially you could do something on this roof terrace space as well. That is, if you don't mind losing it, of course, you've just got so much outdoor space. If you did want to add some more internal, it's an option. Thanks for joining me for the latest episode of London Property Tours for YouTube. I need to say, I forgot at the start, again, if you're enjoying the content so far, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm at Grant J Bates on all platforms, YouTube, obviously, also Instagram and TikTok. The property is available now at 7.95 million pounds UK sterling. For any more information, or if you'd like to take a look in person, drop me a line. Thanks for watching.